What's going on, everybody? Back at it here. I don't know which way I've done the reveal, so if you see Grady cards back here, you might have already seen those. That was a BGS one just came in, but I'm trying to separate the videos for a couple days on here. So I did get a PSA one back in, too. I just got to figure out how to cut this box open real quick. That's why I was back on the side here trying to fill. This was a regular service. It was... Uh, about it it was a we mailed this in as a test to see how long they were going to take and this was mailed like beginning of january it was logged in january 8th and it's back today this does cost 50 bucks a card i don't think i'm going to win on this but i'm just trying to figure out where the flaps out onto it Oh, garbage box is not close enough. They put this tape around. You can never figure out where you need to cut and where to open. It should be one of these ends. I'll try this end. Oh, boy. There was my old extreme finger. Blood on camera, then. We have to cut the video. Side. Now you guys see that noise, that's Pug. She's back here trying to chow down her food because I guess she wants to annoy me today. Wow. There we go. We're going to win here eventually. Overall, it wasn't a very bad submission. Uh, I'll show you that when we get into it here in a second. Let me make sure I hit record. <laughs> you start doing videos, and you're like, did I just hit record on this or not? This one here, I wanted a Raz for like 12 bucks. Came back in eight. I was really hoping for a nine on this. I'm just not too sure offhand. They had to have found something on it that I did not see. And I'll just be shocked. But it still goes for 100 bucks. So basically 15 to grade and $12 on a Raz win back in the day. So a couple bucks profit onto it. Not much. So we'll hit that one there first. I'm going to find the other one real quick. Should be this one. Out of all my Herbert prisms I pulled, I thought this would be a 10. Not going to lie. Came back an 8. This was pulled with that RPA, if you guys remember, so there was really nothing invested into it because I took the chunk into the RPA. Very what the heck, 50 bucks. Still sells for a little over 100 as well. But I'm guessing this is what they're looking at in the back here because I did measure this out. These blue things back here. And I was like, well, the front looks pretty stinking good, you know. I mean, it was pretty good. I mean, top and bottom was awful. Ah, that might be it, top and bottom. Maybe I did not measure it right now, I think about it. But anyhow, it came back an eight. So two eights. Got two nines, too. I'm going to flip it in here just to where I get to the nines. This here I was expecting a 9 on. This is the first edition orange, Nick Gonzalez. It had a little bit of white right down here in this corner. And for what it was selling for, a two twenty five a pop. There we go. I figured, why not? It was basically something to fill it out because I wanted to send 10 cards in to just get an overall look onto it. It was very well expected, and like I said... The 9, and I was thinking the uh, Murray was going to be a 9, even maybe the Herbert Prism. But the rest of these weren't bad, weren't bad. All right, starting off, Herbert Mosaic 9. I think this is about 150 bucks in the condition it's in, so it'll go up on my slabs here a little bit later. 
But never worry, never fear. I had two more to tend. I save a tens for last this time. Just because it's only a 10 card submission. So, really happy and stoked with those. I think, I think those are like 250 maybe. I can't remember. Mosaic Mosaics. I love them. And them both. Extremely stoked when I saw both these grades. I really thought that only one was going to get it. But knocked them out apart. Two for two. These were going at 450 a pop last I looked. And just a reminder, the reason why I did submit these on the regular is because anything over 200 bucks is supposed to go that way. This I wanted to get done because I was not going to wait a year in a regular level or modern, whatever it is. But East and Tend. And this is one thing I wanted to hold on to because if this kid starts up there in Indianapolis and he tears it apart, these are going to go skyrocketing. And finally, remember this? We pulled it. Zion. Tend as well, too. So... Basically, it was a very good one for what I had invested in this stuff, which wasn't a whole lot. When I did the numbers, uh, when this was out on Friday, from what I invested in what I'd sell it at, I think the profit was something like sixteen to eighteen hundred, somewhere around there, if I'd sell them currently. And that's with grading fees and what I had put into each of these. Whether like the Zion might have just been the price of the hanger box. Um, I think Easton was the price of the Colts that I had, and same with the Herberts and stuff. But really not bad. I'm more than likely going to end up moving the Herbert, like I said, the 9. It'll be on my slabs. Nick Gonzalez I'll hold on to, and I'll probably move these two, because real, realistically, these three here are like 350 bucks sold, so it, I'm only going to hold 200 bucks really afterwards on the rest of this stuff in my submission. So, overall, very, very happy. I, I wasn't expecting all 10s, but I was happy with 6. I've been doing a lot better here recently, 60%, 70%. And technically, if you would take out these two here, I went 6 for 8, because I, I knew those would be catches on to it. But, happy with the submission. That is it, because I have nothing else that's moving on back towards me. Uh, anytime soon, so we might not have any more uh, reveals coming out here anytime soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button because there's a ton of PSA orders out there. I've been using a lot of uh, uh, box breaks and stuff like that too on my own, sending this stuff in instead of doing group breaks. At the same time, if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, take a look at some of the older videos on to here as well too. We were doing a scammer series for, we we'll probably still are going to keep doing it. So we bring different things to light to look at. You know, whether, I'm not saying all breakers are scammers, but some they are doing things wrong and, you know, they just don't care. So that way people have a little more knowledge out there from fake patches, reprint cards, all kind of stuff. So hit that subscribe button. Other than that, everybody, I appreciate it as always. See y'all later.